Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've last posted a video simply because we moved house but now everything is in their place and now I'm able to upcycle furniture. So please welcome our newest project which is this lovely chest of drawers. Let's get started! On this furniture, I wanted to show you the difference between the veneer, which is I'm showing to you now, and between the laminate surface. So the laminate, as you can see, it's a much more smoother surface than the veneer. And it's simply because the laminate is not actual wood. The wood grains are only printed on the surface, whereas with the veneer, it is actual wood, but it's a very, very thin layer of wood. You can tell which one is which by simply looking at the wood grain. And listening to the sound of them. You can also see a very thin line on the edge of the drawer or sometimes in the back of the furniture where the laminate has been glued on it. And now that you know the difference between the laminate and the veneer, the main thing is with them is that the laminate, you cannot stain it, you can only paint it. But as for the veneer, you can stain it, but when you're sanding it, you have to be really careful with it. So as you can see, I've already cleaned the piece while I was talking, We're using an elbow grease, which is my favorite degreaser. Strong enough, but mild enough not to damage the furniture and not to be too strong. And now I went on to sanding down the top. The top, as I said, it's a veneer, so you can sand it down, but you have to be really careful because the veneer is so thin that if you are sanding in one place for too long or if the veneer is already damaged, then you can cause further damages and you can even remove the whole veneer and then you will only have some MDF on the top, which you don't want to have. So first of all, I'm sanding with an 80 grit sandpaper very lightly, as you can see, I'm not doing it a lot of times on one area. And then after that, I've sanded it with a 120 grit sandpaper and I didn't want it to go any higher because I wasn't sure how well it would absorb the stain. When you are sanding, it's important to clean the surface in between sanding, simply because when you are sanding with a machine or even by hand, you can send all the dust into the wood grain, which means that all the dust will fill up all the wood grain and all the cracks, which you don't want because then if it's full of dust, then nothing will adhere to the surface well. So if you want to stain it or if you want to paint it, the stain and the paint will not stick to the furniture or to the surface. It will stick to the dust and eventually it will just peel away and chip away all the paint. So the original plan was to use this wood dye, which I have used before on oak furniture and it worked really well. And as you can see here, it does make the top darker, but once it dries, it's just about the same darkness like the original finish was on this furniture. So it wasn't dark enough and I wasn't quite happy with the result. So the next thing I used was a 
walnut colored varnish so it's sort of a stain and a varnish all in one which I have honestly not seen it before I just grabbed it from the shelf thinking it's just a stain and then when I open it I realize it's actually a varnish but it has worked out really well because obviously I'm using this stain on the top and the top would have needed to be varnished anyways so it just really saved time for me so that I didn't have to go back and then varnish it afterwards so in overall I can highly recommend this product it's really easy to work with and it has a great result After sorting out the top, I went on to the drawers and the body of this chest of drawers. So I started by removing all the drawers and the handles as well. And later on I added new handles, but I still kept these ones because, well, you never know when you're gonna be in need of handles. After removing the drawers, I've started sanding them. I've only sanded with a 120 grit sandpaper because the purpose of this sanding is just to scuff up the surface so that the primer and the paint will adhere to it better. After scuff sanding the drawers and the body, the next step I had to take was to tape down all the edges of the top so that it wouldn't be painted on. Um, as you can see I'm using a white colored simple masking tape here but I would highly recommend you using a frock tape just because the frock tape does not remove any of the paint or any of the finish whereas this very cheap masking tape it had removed some of the varnish that I have already applied to the top so I wasn't quite happy with that after the scuff sanding I have primed the body and the drawers of these chest of drawers and now you can see me smoothing out the surface with a 180 grit sandpaper so all I'm doing here is not removing the actual prime I'm just smoothing the surface so as you can see not a lot of primer comes off just a little bit of a dust and after this is done I'm giving it a final clean before starting to paint for this project I'm using a fusion mineral paint in the color casement I really love this paint brand, I have used their products before, if you have seen my previous videos you have seen me using their paint before and I really love it because it has a very very smooth finish, it's really easy to apply, it's very thin so it will go a long way but even though it's thin it is still has a very good coverage so you don't need to do a lot of layers of paint. Well, it does recommend about three or four layers of paint. I have added here altogether three layers. I didn't need to do any more because my primer was white color as well. And here you can see Molly, which is the neighbor's cat, who ever since we moved here, she's always with us. And of course, she had to check out what I am working on. The way I'm painting, I like to do long strokes once all the paint is evenly on the surface just to smooth out any brush strokes and so it won't be as a stripey finish. And here you can see the difference between the first coat of paint and the second coat of paint. And here is the finished piece! 
I think it turned out great and luckily my customer was also really happy with the result. This was a custom piece made for the lovely client who also ordered the green chest of drawers which was our previous video and I have to tell you guys she has a really good taste because I'm not really into very bright and white colors but her idea was really nice with the darker top, the dark handles and with uh, the white paint. I think overall it looks really really great and I'm definitely going to use this color combination on my other furniture as well. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel to get notified about the new videos. See you in a few weeks!